Hi, I don't remember if I've started this vlog, so if I haven't, this is gonna be an emo beginning to the vlog. Welcome. I was thinking about a thing. Do I have chocolate on my shirt? No, okay, it's just fuzz. I was thinking about a thing. I know, revolutionary. Call Ellen. Some of y'all know, I'm a horse gal. I grew up with horses, I took lessons, and because of all that, I still watch some horse YouTube. But I do watch this one YouTube channel that I really, really, really enjoy. She lives in Dubai, she has like four horses that she trains and rides, and she's incredible. So I always watch her uploads along with a couple other people that I enjoy. And every time I watch her videos, it has me thinking about how much I miss horseback riding. It's been so long since I've jumped. Like, okay, I have a horse and I can hop on him whenever I want, but my horse rides Western. There's two different kinds of, do I have to explain horses to people? Oh no. There's basically the yeehaw riding or the pretty riding. And my horse, I got really cheap because his owner was moving away. And he was trained to be yeehaw pretty boy yeehaw. So I rode him with a Western saddle that has like the thing you can grab, cause you know, beginners. Just kidding, it's cause roping and cowboys anyway. And he was old when I got him so he can't jump. But from ages 12 to 15, no, I don't know, for a couple years in my teenage and prepubescent years, I jumped horses, I did jumping, and it was so much fun. I had a series of falls that made it so that I had to stop and I really just lost my confidence and stopped going. Then I got my horse and I couldn't afford both lessons and owning a horse. Like why do I need to take lessons if I have a horse? So I just stopped jumping. But watching other people do it, just like, ooh, I want to go back to jumping so bad. So like I watch other people ride and I'm just like, I can barely even remember at this point what it felt like to jump because it's been like, Oh my gosh, since freshman year of high school? I don't even remember when the last time, because the last barn I was at, I don't even know, it must have been like 2010. Was Yeah, March of 2010 was the last show I'd ever been to. So it's been like closing in on a decade since I've jumped on a horse. Well, I've, I've jumped on a horse, but I haven't like been on a horse and then jumped. So I miss it so much and it costs so much to have lessons. The reason why I'm bringing this up, I want to take lessons so bad and get back into jumping and I miss it so much. But there's things holding me back. And the major thing is the rule of horseback riding is you have to be 10% or less of a horse's weight. For an average sized horse, that means around 250 pounds and I'm definitely nearing 300. So a couple years ago, I called the barn that was near my house that's really, really not famous, but it's well known and I wanted to see if I could take lessons there. So I called and I was like, hey, I'm really tall. I'm thick. <laughs> Do you have lesson horses that could accommodate me? And I actually toured the barn and I'm gonna get emotional, but like as I was touring the barn, I just was like tearing up because it'd been so long since I had horseback ridden. Well, I mean, okay, I horseback ridden, but not like jumped, which is what I love to do. And just like the prospect of getting back in the English saddle and doing that was so exciting. But then lessons were like $75 per lesson if I wanted to have an individual lesson, not including buying all new gear. <laughs> all the funds added up, but then I was thinking, I'm so out of shape. And at this point, I'm probably heavier than I was back when I did that tour a couple years ago. This clip wasn't supposed to be about how much I want to horseback ride, but the, my point was, whenever I talk about losing weight, I, it's never in the vein of like, oh, I hate how I look, I wanna lose weight. It's always because there's things I want to do that I know I can't do because of my size. And I know you could probably just say like, ooh, F society, just like do it anyway. But something like riding a horse when you're overweight for the horse's size is just not ethical. And plus, I'm so out of shape. It might not look like it, but you have to be so athletic when you ride English style. And I haven't done that in years. And honestly, I couldn't tell you if I would be able to like post the trot. <laughs> the reason why I'm filming this clip, I'm finally getting around to it, is like the list of reasons why I want to lose weight that aren't about like hating my body. So first of all, horseback riding and getting in shape for that. But the other biggest thing why I wanna lose weight is it would be so much easier to shop for clothes. Just from the price of clothes to what's available, like the difference between having to shop at a plus size clothing store, if I was able to fit into like XXL from a normal women's section, even though like that's considered like the big size, that's like my dream <laughs> is to be able to just like walk into Target and not have to go to the plus size section and just like get an extra large shirt. Like Forever 21, 
one goes up to size 20, but their size 20 is a tight size 20, so I barely can shop from Forever 21 anymore. I approach weight loss from like a purely technical convenience standpoint and not an emotional one, which is equal parts good and bad, I guess. I don't know, but I'm just reflecting on having watched that horse video and I'm just like, as soon as I have extra money and as soon as I do something about getting a little more in shape, that is my top priority is like getting back in the saddle and maybe I'll hate it and maybe it'll be scary because I'm still not over falling off a bunch of times but I miss it. I have an entire channel of videos of me riding. I wonder should I insert some clips of me riding just because like I feel like y'all know I have a horse and y'all have seen my horse but you never really see me on horses. <laughs> maybe I'll find some fun old clips of me riding and put those in for you. Oh my god, I'm gonna live my dream of doing a voiceover of my riding clips. Okay, so the first clip you saw was the first time I ever jumped my friend's horse. That was back in like literally 2009. We don't care. Okay, this horse I'm currently riding is named Pinto. I miss him. I love him. This was the barn I rode at for like a year in like 8th or ninth grade. This is my first ever lesson I had there. Riding criticisms. Why are my arms so straight? You need to bend your arms, honey. Pretty canter, look at that. And then I mess it up by steering him into the jump and then he breaks to a trot, but it's fine. This was my favorite lesson horse ever. His name was Ocala. We were having a great round, as you can see, but then for some reason, over the final line, he took off long, I lost my balance, I don't even remember what happened, but I fell, I blacked out, I got a concussion, it was fun. Other things that I would want to lose weight for is just things like airplane seats. <laughs> I don't really know what else, it's just, it's just like very basic things that are like daily things you don't really think about and I'm like, huh, I wish I could do that. <laughs> if you're gonna take anything from this clip, take the fact that I want to horseback ride and take lessons, but it's so expensive. I'm also scared that I'm too old to take horseback riding lessons, which is totally a myth, but I feel like everyone who takes lessons is like a 12 year old and I haven't taken lessons in forever. I don't even know if I can show at this age. Like, I know nothing about being in the equestrian life as an adult. I definitely want to get on my horse over Christmas break and do a little walking around. It's been a while. And like that's another thing is I'm scared of showing a clip of me riding my horse and all the comments be like, oh my god you're too fat for him. Wow this is a self-conscious vlog. Hey guys, welcome to my insecurities. <laughs> okay, this was emo, I'm going. Today's agenda, I thought I would have a whole week to just sit on my butt before graduation, but I have like one thing every day in the middle of the day, so I feel like I can get nothing done. Today I need to go to an honors banquet, dinner, lunch thing to get my honors medal for graduation. That's at 1 p.m., right smack dab in the middle of the day. Before then, Veronica, Julia, and I are gonna go to Chili's because we all want to go out to eat together like one last time. Even though we did that with Kaylin, but we did, we all just want to go get dessert from Chili's. <laughs> I also need to finish writing all the letters I want to give to my professors and just drop off in their offices like a thank you for teaching me things and dealing with me crying in your office if it applies sort of thing. I also need to go pick up a package. I got a notification for it today and honestly I could go get it right now, but I'd rather rather not do that. So I need to pick that up. There's probably more I have to do that I'm forgetting, but like, why do I have so many things to do if that school was over? My family comes in town on Friday. I'm probably gonna do like a photo shoot for senior photos that day too, because I'll have my honors medal. Actual graduation day, then we go home. Hi, welcome to adulthood. <laughs> I just got home from an honors lunch where we got our honors little medals that have our honors program on it. My graduation outfit is complete. This is what she's gonna look like in two days. This cord is for the top 10%. This cord is for the English Honor Society. This I just bought because it's pretty. Last night I checked my grades and saw that I made all A's in my two classes, so I have a 3.936 GPA. So I'm graduating with top honors, so I'm gonna have that pin. Oh, oh guys, I did it. I just look so strange, like do, 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 do. Wow, this is gonna be me in two days. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of my life. I don't wanna film this clip. <laughs> At the beginning of the semester, I filmed a time lapse of me putting all my books on my shelf, and now the time has come for me to take all those books back off my shelf. Let's go. Now it happened quite so quiet. that I bought these massive sweet potatoes like a month ago, so I'm gonna peel them and find out if they're still good, and if they are, we're gonna make some fries. This is how white I am. I started the semester with a full bottle of Costco-sized ketchup, and now it's this empty. <laughs> Get to peeling. These were freezing, so now my hand is really cold, but now chop these up. Hi, Mr. Jabeans. It took me so long to chop these, my phone died, so that's fun. Next step, you take your olive oil, lots of paprika, then salt and pepper. If you're feeling fancy, some garlic powder. Honestly, there's so much in here, I might as well just use the rest of this oil. Oh, I messed up. Now you season the hell out of it. I forgot to show me putting them in, but you put them in the oven for 10 minutes, then you take them out and flip them, which I just did. I almost just grabbed it with my bare hand. Then once you flip them, they go back in for 10 more minutes. But I have two batches to do because I had so many sweet potatoes. met Jesse in person like twice and we talk every now and then but every time that he acknowledges I exist I'm like oh my god is Jesse the reader is that weird are you allowed to do that with a friend oh my god I have to respond to that hold on wait I haven't been vlogging a ton today because it's just weird to set up a camera angle amidst all of this and plus my camera's about to die I'll give you a little shot of me packing Nothing's casual. I'm just crying while I'm packing up my room because let me show you This is the calendar I've kept in all my rooms since freshman year and I remember the day my mom dropped me off We hung this up over the microwave. It wasn't even filled out I was gonna fill it out later and you can tell this is from a long time ago This is from like three semesters ago I don't even use this calendar But the reason I hang it up is because freshman year my mom wrote this quote and that's kept me going throughout college I just like looking at that I couldn't bear to erase it so I haven't and it's been four years now going from knowing that's the last thing she said to me before she left my room when I started crying for three hours straight to now taking this down off my wall and packing it away then just going home forever like wow
It does not feel that long ago that she wrote that. So here's the room progress. All the, the reading nook is deconstructed. All the stuff in my desk is pretty much gone. All the stuff is in there so we can move that out. All these boxes are slowly being filled. These are all my books. Shoes I'm wearing at graduation. My printer, all my clothes. I basically just have like extra boxes and food. And my gown. Is this my, no, okay, I was like, is this my last sleep here? It's not. Why did I pack so much away? I'm gonna need like half the stuff I packed. Love that for me. The fact that these are the same boxes I used to move in my freshman dorm and you still see Whitney dorm on it. I just keep getting more and more emotional. Like I'm looking at how empty the room is. Like I don't have anything on the wall over there anymore. Just in my head I'm singing like, when somebody left me. I don't even know what to think. Cause like, I'm packing up as if I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm not, I'm leaving on Saturday. But we had to clean our entire apartment because of like huge protocols. So all this is pretty much done. We had to take down our Christmas tree. All this is pretty much done. Oh my God, what are my thighs? Beautiful. All these are empty. I have to put some of this stuff away, but obviously I need to brush my teeth for the next two days. Bookshelf, all the stuff under my bed needs to be cleaned. The problem is I have a huge box of Christmas stuff. I don't know how to hide that from my parents. I'm probably gonna set it off from everything and be like, do not touch this box in particular. I still have two more days, so it's not like tomorrow is the last time I'll ever see any of this, but I'm getting to a point where I'm just like, I don't want to go. I feel like on the verge of tears, but not like I'm going to start crying, but it's just so bittersweet. I'm dying to go back to my freshman dorm and go see my old room, but it's like the thing with my old house. It's like, I know if I walk in it, it's going to be someone else's furniture and someone else's decorations, but I still just want to be in that space again, you know? This clip is boring because I just keep looking around at things and being quiet, but like all these are empty. Oh wait, I have socks in here. All these are pretty much empty. This is all just journaling stuff and those letters I'm gonna pass out tomorrow. All the stuff I'm putting in my journals and desktop stuff that I still need. My ukulele furniture. Tomorrow my grandparents and my parents come in town. They're staying at hotels nearby because the graduation's early on Saturday. I don't know if the weather's gonna be good, but I need to take senior photos and I think we're gonna go around campus and do that if weather permits. I need to finish packing up. We're probably gonna go out to dinner. I don't think my grandparents have ever seen my campus. So I think my grandparents and I might do a campus tour. I really wanna show them like all my favorite places on campus and just everywhere that I have memories. I'm literally, I might sneak into my freshman dorm. Today was a difficult day to vlog because there's nowhere for me to set up a camera while I'm going around the house and getting stuff together to pack it all up. But we're nearing the end guys like this is the saddest thing ever an empty bookshelf no more decorations just stacked boxes we made it to the end okay now i'm gonna cry like every time i think about that i'm just like holy shit i don't know whether i want to cry or just be like thank you next i'm gonna go i'm gonna need i need to edit this vlog see you tomorrow for another emo day this one's a sing-along <laughs> i really can't stay i've got to go away this evening has been so very nice my mother will start to worry my father be pacing the floor so really I'd better scurry well maybe just a half a drink more the neighbors might think say what's in this drink I wish I knew how to break the spell say no 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 at least that I could say that I tried I really can't stay I bet it's cold outside I messed up that last chord oh well hope we had fun anyway